Welcome to The Good with Dr. Joe. Hello and welcome. It's about 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. London time. Today you can see we have a full house. So we're wearing our, our mask today just to try and keep up with the CDC regulations. You know, we can maintain uh, the six feet uh, social distancing uh, uh, space. So what we'll do is that when we're going to speak, then we'll take off our mask and then we'll speak and then we'll continue. So welcome to today. Today we're going to be talking about relationship between the parent and the child. So and, we have and we, we have, have a, a star today. Yeah, yeah. So can you tell us your name? Zaire. Zaire. Okay. So Zaire is. Can you tell us a little bit more about Zaire? He's five years old. Mm -hmm. He's five years old. Mm -hmm. He's a strong Leo. Smart, strong boy. <laughs> and a very good looking boy too. All right, all right. So before we before we continue, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um about yesterday. Uh we had that first debate. First presidential debate yesterday. I'd hardly call it a debate. <laughs> so what do you think it was? I think it was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. They acted like um like, not even high school boys, more like middle school boys. So, Tiana, what do you think about what transpired yesterday? I know Biden and the guy that was doing the interview, they're friends. Because the way he looked at him and the way they looked at each other when he came out. And how then he started getting in debate with him. And he was like, oh, I'm getting in debate with you. They was already ganging up on that man. But I don't know. So a TNA. He didn't, he didn't answer no. Every question yeah. that was asked, he went to the you as the people. You have to vote. It, yeah, he Biden never didn't answer answered, one question. He didn't answer that one question. Okay. And, or he would try to throw <laughs> he wanted to throw salt the vote. <laughs> on the witch call. It yeah. was it was ridiculous. Uh, that 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 was uh, I, I would say that was very interesting. That's what I can say <laughs> from both from both sides. I think you could you could tell that the moderator was a little the bit who? the moderator. Moderator. Yeah, moderator. Okay, okay. the moderator. The moderator. Yeah, Chris, Chris Wallace. Chris Wallace, yeah. Chris Wallace actually had a very hard time yesterday. Oh, you yeah. know what I heard today? Yeah. If you got a minute. I heard coming in, they were talking about it on the radio, and Chris Wallace could have turned off each microphone individually. I see. And they said what he should have done. Yeah was when they were interrupting each other, yeah. when the one who was allowed to talk was talking, yeah. they should have turned off the other guy's uh, microphone. You and see, I, I thought that was a good idea. You see, that, that is what happens when you plan ahead. You know, planning is really very useful and helpful sometimes. Because when you plan, you're able to deal with that situation. And that brings us to relationship with children, you know. So planning, you know. There's what you call uh, family planning. You know, you can look at it wherever we should look, you look at it, you know, whether you like it or not. The the fact that planning is there, you know, helps it a little bit, you know. Well, Joe, what yeah. do you think a parent's responsibility is? Oh, I, I believe a parent responsibility, uh, responsibility is to raise the child. That's the, the uh, principle. Now, in raising the child, there are a lot of other things that's involved with raising the child. You can take off your mask when you speak so I can hear you. Childhood's a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. Childhood is nothing but a preparation for adulthood. Mm -hmm. And a parent's responsibility is to teach and guide the child into adulthood. That's all a parent's supposed to be doing. Of course, administer love, teach the child how to love, but how to teach, teach the child how to manage adulthood, how to have character, and um, how to have a responsible adulthood life. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Ms. No. Yeah, you have something to say. Go ahead, Tiana. Okay, what I think, I mean, I, I agree fully with her, but I, I strongly uh, think that love should be the top number one thing because to be in order to be a, a a great adult, you have to understand love and sh be able to show love, because with love comes respect, and respect, respect is that's all being a a great adult is is love, understanding love and having to love the world and the universe and the people in it, so you get that back. 
So it's really, I think. Well, of course, I agree with and you, but make, and you know, you, and it makes them when they yeah. when they understand they make they want to make you proud. Right. I think um, I think a Christian godly home is where you get all the love, and of course, I think that's where children thrive the best. I know there's a lot of people out here don't believe in God today, but I do, and I believe in a Christian home, and I believe in a teaching of children how to respect and um, know that Jesus Christ is Savior of the world. Absolutely, absolutely. So what I'd like us to do is to kind of break this down to step-by-step -step, um, process on how... Okay, you want to say something? Yeah, go ahead. You have to say something, right? Go ahead. Um. Yeah, go ahead. Say something. You have something to say? What was, the question, what was the question again? What was, um, what do you think a parent's responsibility is in raising you guys? Um. All right, why is, why is thinking I'll about let it? You think about it. Yeah, why is thinking about it? Let's go on to, uh, you know, step by step process on how to get this started. So essentially, I believe that there's a, there's a step by step to everything. It said there is a madness. There's a, what do you call it now? There's, method to your madness? Yeah, there's a method to the madness. Any madness, however you want to call it. But in raising a child, though, it, that is a, a something that needs to be planned out. That's the very first thing, you know. I think one of the best way to raise uh, children is to have a plan on how to raise the children. And that includes the man, the woman, and then the time, you know, putting the time together when you, when you want to have your first child, you want to have your second child, this all can be planned out. Because if your child, that's, we, we're getting calls already. If your, if your baby comes at the wrong time, you know, you have heard about children being abandoned. We've seen uh, parents, they give birth, especially, uh, uh, you know, they give birth. And maybe the situation wasn't right, and then they take the baby, they go, they, I said to them, dump the baby, which is really sad. Some people give them up for adoption, so that just means they were not ready at that time. So the very first thing about raising kids and developing a relationship, making sure the kids are, is to make sure that you do whatever you can to plan. I know it's not always possible to plan everything, but do your best, you know, to plan. Okay, so that's the first thing, you know, before you make a baby. Put some plans in place. Have a, a, a loving home. Have an environment where the baby can grow and learn and stuff like that. And so on and so forth. Then I think the other thing is communication. So I'm going to just throw it out there and then we'll discuss it. Communication. You know, babies, when they're in the womb, as, as little as 18 weeks, they can hear. So when you start talking to the baby, you're communicating, you're establishing rapport. You establish some form of relationship. That's where it starts. Yeah, the baby knows the voice of mother and father before they're born. Yes. How do they know that? Because they can hear you. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You can talk to them. You know, talk, I, I've heard, you know, I don't know how far this is good, that most of the kids that come out with musical talent. Uh, that's because they played a lot of music while they're in the womb. When they were in the womb, they yeah. heard a lot of music. So they could detect. So when they come out, they can detect a key. They can sing on the key. They can do all of that, you know, versus those who may not have that. So that, that's very critical. And then the other thing I want to talk, talk about is leadership. It's leading by example. Right. Because babies, they see. They'll learn from what you, what you do. They'll learn. They see. They say, monkey do, monkey see. Monkey see, monkey well, do. Well, you got to realize, the, all, they, all these children, it, yeah. this little boy, mm -hmm. all he has to do mm -hmm. is watch his mother... Mm -hmm. And his aunt, mm -hmm. and he knows more about them than they know about themselves. Absolutely, I want to. I want to talk about these three. Actually, two points for uh, you know from communication and leadership by example. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we, we're glad to have. Uh, we didn't introduce uh, uh, Tiana. We're glad to have Tiana back. She was here with us about two weeks ago. So we're glad to have her back. Originally from um, Washington D.C. Washington D.C. in the house. So yeah, let's talk about those two. Communication, we already talked about planning, that's critical. Communication and leadership by example, yes. 
Uh, Mr. Do, you go first. So what do you think about communication and leadership in establishing a relationship with a child? Yeah, I think... Um, Could you take your mask off? I, I think you're exactly right. Mm -hmm. And um, because I think the more you talk with your child, children, even when they're first born, mm -hmm. you know, you start talking to your baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe in thorough explanations. I know my mother, um, you say, well, why can't I do that? Because I said so. Mm. No, that's not the right answer. You give an explanation, mm. even if you got to make one up on the spur of the moment. But to tell, a, to tell somebody, well, you can't do that because I said so. Hey, hey a five-year-old's not going to accept mm -hmm. that. He knows that's, that's not right. Mm -hmm. So communicating and um, in leadership because... You've got to be very careful what you do as a parent because that child's watching you mm -hmm. and they're going to copy and they're going to think every word you say is the truth when always it's not. But we got to keep in mind, you know, uh, nobody's taught you how to be a parent and you're going to make mistakes. And I think the majority of people do the best they can. And... Uh, Really and truly, in my opinion, and everybody out there who's listening is probably going to say I'm old-fashioned, but a parent needs to be home raising that child because they say that by the time they're five years old, they're kind of set into a pattern. So that's crucial. I don't want some stranger raising my children. Yeah, I would never. If I had to, I would never. So, put Jen, my kids in Jenna, what do you think? Over to you. You can take your mask off. Oh, I would never put my kids in daycare. I would never. Well, even having somebody in. Yeah, I would. I don't even want my I, mother I raising wanna, my kids. I want to have. I want to. I would want to do it. Yeah. Because, I because you don't know once they go or right. who's putting what into your child while right. you're away. Jenna, you can take your mask off. Take uh, your mask oh, off. I go on to, I, yeah. I, I didn't yeah, you know can take it off. Let me speak it. So I want to go ahead and t talk about the issue of communication. Talk uh, about the issue of uh, leadership. And then any other thing you want to add? And I and I uh, and I agree with her 100 mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. explaining to children. Well, like, and I have also grown up, like, with my, with grown up saying, oh, you, like, well, like, saying, like, oh, stay in a child's place, or, or, or they just, oh, because it is, and they don't explain it, but, well, I would, I mean, what I'm going to add, because I, I agree with her, so I'm not going to repeat what she just said, but what I'm going to add is another thing that I disagreed with when I was younger, they used to, like, stay in the, oh, stay out of grown folks' business. And what see what adults don't understand, what you got going on is their business because they have to learn everything of the world. So they're they are growing. And if it's something that where's that bad that you can't say it around a child, then obviously you're not supposed to be talking about it, period. Like I, yeah, if, it's, you're right. if it's like business, yeah, right. They should I mean, even if it's like business stuff and they asking questions about money or something right, like that. Explain it, it. Yeah, explain it because mm -hmm. they learn it and that's how they grow. So we don't I don't hide this is my nephew and me and my sister, we don't hide nothing from him. We talk to him like right. like he's we don't like put he's him, one of you. Yeah, like I I remember this one time my my cousin my older cousin, she's like older, older and she's like, Oh, I am not a, I'm not your age. You don't talk to me like that. But and she was like and I she was like something about my father, but I was like but see, my father never put us, oh, we're adults and you're a mm -hmm. child. It was mm -hmm. always the same level to know that we are we are equal right. because. Well, you know what I see today is um, as soon, he's big enough to have responsibilities. He's five years old. I would give him responsibilities that he could handle at this age. And those responsibilities would increase with age. You need to teach people, you need to teach your children responsibilities, how to make decisions, let them make decisions, and they're capable at, at the age that they are. And then I believe in teaching children how to work. How to work? I believe every, every child should have responsibilities at home because then they feel more like it's their home and they need to learn how to work as they grow. Otherwise, we got teenagers and, and adults today who don't want to work, they want freebies all the time. Oh, well, I try to teach him not the, how to work, but how to make your ideas work. He and needs to work. What, yeah, but I, he need to put his ideas to work instead of, because we don't want him to have like hard labor or nothing like that. 
well, I guess. Well, well really, I think we're, we're, every, every we're actually like, saying. Try to find a way to make that work for you, make money without you physically and spiritually having to do but, that. Well, 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 that's going to that's gonna come. That's going to come with age. But at, at the... At no, the, we teach them how to work. At the small age, teach I mean, him... I agree with uh, Ms. No. Teach responsibility that is commensurate to well, his like age, to his ability. You know, put your toys back where you got it from. Okay? That's a responsibility. Oh, no. yeah. oh okay. okay. Yeah, when, when you finish it's eating, like you finish yeah. eating, put Take your, your plate, plate and set it on the counter. And set it on the counter right. or put it back in the sink. Oh, right. So, you know, oh, okay. little, little things like that, you need to show right. them responsibility. The reason being that a lot of uh, uh, kids, once they grow up and don't understand that basic part of life, they don't understand responsibility, they don't understand work. And that's why they're lazy. That's why we have a lot of lazy teenagers all over the place. So if you started working when they were younger, like me, we started young. I have a lot of appreciation for work today because we started when we were very young. My dad would take us to work with him, yeah. you know, and then he made us productive. Don't forget they said yeah. an idle man is the uh, devil's, devil's workshop. workshop if yeah. the kid is busy. The other thing you're also doing is that you are building a relationship between you and the kid you are helping the social skills. Right. So that when the kid is, is with other people, he, he knows how to act. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, right? I do. Because you started that very early. And you know, another thing is, uh, my dad taught me how to, how to handle money. He taught me what money was and how to take care of it. And he started with me at a very young age. I can stretch a dollar from here to 2022. I like to see because that. Because my dad showed me mm -hmm. how yeah. how to handle money and how valuable it was. Mm -hmm. And he didn't do it with a charge card. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you got to know how to handle cash. All right, you want to say something? Go ahead, look at the ahead. camera. Say whatever you're saying. Yeah, what do you have to say? Come do on, you, go ahead. Tell me something. Do you like money? Oh, good. How much money do you like? Uh, $5. So what does your mom taught you about money? Has your mom taught you anything about money? I need money to buy some ice cream. So ice cream. <laughs> okay. So so you which That's means good. which means you like ice cream. Right? You like what flavor of ice cream do you like? Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay, like strawberry. strawberry too. Okay, strawberry is good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. So what does you like? What kind of do you do any chores at home? Do you help your mom at home to do any work? What kind of work do you do at home? Um school work. Oh, you do schoolwork. Oh, wow. That's what, good. So, what grade are you in? I'm sorry, what are you kindergarten, right? Okay. So, what what do you like most at school? What do you like to do what, most at school? To play, and I can take a break. <laughs> okay. All right. That's not work. Mm -hmm. Playing and break. That's not work. But anyway, we're getting there. You and kid are getting. That's so, good, honey. So, that's very so, good. That so, is so at good. least you know. At least you know what you like. You know. So, I, I think as we round up today. It's very, very important. I think you mentioned one thing there. It's also time, you know. I've, I've said the first thing is planning. Planning is very first thing. If you want to develop a good relationship with your with the children, you have to plan how and when the child actually gets here. It's very important so that you're ready when the child gets here. That's number one. Then number two, we want to learn how to communicate. You want to start communicating. Talk to the kids. She has, she's already explained. Kids will ask you questions. Don't just blow them off. And encouragement. When, yes. No, Encourage them no, when they ask I questions. Said, when they ask questions, answer their questions. Always answer their questions. And, um, and then communicate to them. Talk to them. And then spend time. Spend time with the children to understand what they're feeling. What they're doing. To. Yes. You know, to, to understand what they're, what they're dealing with, what they're talking about, and so on and so forth. So we talked about communication, and then we talked about leadership. So whatever you do, they are watching you. Just like Tiana was saying, let them be open to every conversation, you know, unless maybe some intimate situations, then you can keep them away from that. But everything else, because they grow, they learn by what they see. All right, our time has come to an end. Uh, we are not able to take any calls today because we, we are very, we are very uh, short for time. So any last minute words, any last minute word before we uh, say goodbye for t today's uh, uh, podcast. And the last minute from Miss, Miss No, last minute? I'm last blank. Word. No. You're fine? I'm blank. I don't have anything. You're blank? Okay. All right, Miss uh, Tiana, last word for the people. Look at the camera. Oh, um, 
I mean, regarding developing a relationship with kids. Well, mm -hmm. Give us a word, darling. All right, give us a word. What do you think parents should do with their kids? What's the message from uh, the kids to the parents? Take them to school. Oh, oh, that's a good one, darling. Oh, that is his school. Take them to school. So, uh, You're parents, so smart. some of the parents who want to don't understand the importance of education. You just heard from the young man. Take them to school. But you know why he says take them yeah. to school? Mm -hmm. Because the the women are so stressed out that working from home mm -hmm. that they can't do the right job of raising their child and mm -hmm. putting all that into their children. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's troublesome for the, the mother. It's harder. Or the parents. It's harder for single parenting. It's harder for... Even... I it's mean, hard... Just... just um, for men and women to, to raise a child. To talk about one single parent. So that's why it's always good to plan. So plan is very, very important here. So that the parent... I mean, the child get all the support they can get. All right. I think that's all we got today. Thank you so much for joining. Stick, stick with us next week on Instagram. And this is, you've been listening to the podcast, The Good with Dr. Joe. It's every Wednesday at 12 noon. And also check out on our, our YouTube channel. We have all our podcasts loaded up there. Thank you so much for coming. See you next time.